guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently traveling and I thought it would be the perfect time to show you guys what is in my travel bag. So this is the bag that I'm currently carrying with me like as my cabin baggage when I'm on flights or like as my purse, whatever. It's also the bag that I take with me when I'm walking around and just discovering a new city. It's got a lot of space for shopping. It has like pockets to segregate my stuff, keep my important things safe and you can also wear it in two ways which is why I love this bag because it's called a tote pack because you can carry it as a regular tote which is what I tend to do most of the time but you can also wear it as a backpack so you just have to pull uh, these straps back and it converts to a backpack. I've been carrying it for like this is my second trip right now and so I thought I could just show you guys what I carry inside it. I actually haven't even like properly checked what's inside or arranged it or fixed it in any way. So that we might get some random messy stuff, but I thought that would make the most authentic video anyway. The bag is from the Swedish brand. I think it's pronounced Fjall Raven. That, that's the best I can pronounce it in English. I actually tried to look up videos yesterday to see how to pronounce it and it's really complicated. They are really famous for their Konkin backpacks. You must have seen those, they're very trendy. But this was the bag that I liked the most. I bought it from Amazon USA and you can get it shipped like directly to India with a little bit of like shipping and customs charge. So I had to wait a little while for it, but it's totally worth it according to me. It was available in a few different colors, but red's like one of my favorites and this is like a special type of canvas. They call it G1000 or something. It's supposed to be a really rugged canvas. Because remember, though the brand Fjall Raven has become trendy now, it was originally just like a sporting goods manufacturer and they used to make like really good quality camping stuff, hiking stuff, things like that. So it's a very durable bag. Most of it's canvas and then there are a few leather accents. Like the handles are really, really tough leather. So are the zippers. This is their logo and stuff and it's just made me very happy. It's kind of heavy right now, but when I put it on my shoulder, it doesn't feel like that much weight. So the first thing that I would have inside the bag, but I don't, is my phone because I'm recording the audio of this video to the phone. So that's why it's in my hand right now and it's kept here. But I would traditionally keep this in my bag, like in this outside pocket. And another thing that I would sometimes have inside, but it isn't inside right now, is my laptop. This is my laptop. It's in a cute little felt sleeve from Amazon Basics. So this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's not the latest version. It's like a couple of years old version. So it's a little on the heavier side. I don't carry this on every trip with me. Like on short trips, I would avoid carrying it. But if it's anything more than three or four days, I would need to carry my laptop in case I need to catch up on work. Now technically a 13 inch laptop is supposed to fit in this backpack. But if that's if you put it on its own, when I put it in the sleeve, it doesn't fit in very well. Like, like it does fit in, but then when I put in the other stuff and try to zip it up, it gives me a little of problem to zip up. So if you have a thinner sleeve, maybe it would fit better or just like a thinner laptop. Like when I'm heading back to Mumbai now, I won't be putting this inside this bag. I'll put it in like a small suitcase or something because this was a struggle. But if you don't care about having your laptop in a sleeve, it fits perfectly. I'm just trying to be a slightly more careful person. So now I'm going to start with opening the front pocket. This is like the most accessible pocket. There's a fair amount of cat hair on this bag. But I'm just keeping things real. Let's open it up. The first thing I found is tablets. These are for stomach cramps. And of course I'll keep this with me if I need it during the day. And here are my earphones, the current earphones that I tend to use the most when I'm traveling. I'm seriously being interrupted by a goat right now. Okay, so these are the current uh, earphones that I'm using right now and I've been using these on and off for a year and a half at least. They're really durable. These are the in-ear earphones from Happy Plugs. I featured them in the blog and the YouTube channel before. Just not only are they pretty, but they work really well. And the fact that they're in-ear, I like it better because they tend to stay a little bit better than just the other normal earphones. But these actually 
isolate noise very well also so you can't hear what's happening around you so on flights and stuff i don't mind wearing these though in case someone tries to talk to me i have to take them out but i wouldn't advise wearing these when you're out and about like walking in the city because that might just not be the smartest decision anyway i have not been listening to so much of music lately i'm just trying to experience my surroundings better but in case i'm editing or i'm just trying to like listen to some music or an audiobook to fall asleep at night i would use my earphones what else is here okay two things here is this like velvet slash felt i'm not sure what fabric it is exactly choker that i bought from kuf some time ago it is one of my favorite chokers and it looks like it's just a piece of string that you've tied in a bow but the clasps at the back it's wear it like this <laughs> it's quite cute i don't know how it remained in here but i tend to carry it sometimes because then if i forget to accessorize when i'm at home i can be outside and opening my bag and i was like oh a choker let me wear it oh yes a pen the next thing this is one of like my favorite pens ever it's from the brand rubber band they make really cute stationery as far as i know they stop making these pens i don't know why but it's just a very pretty pen it doesn't have that clip thingy like to clip it onto a pocket but otherwise it feels really solid and it's a beautiful like a teal green and it also writes very well i love this pen had it for a few years now The next thing I have is this good night fabric roll on mosquito repellent. I did talk about this in my November favorites video as well. Basically, I read that Fort Kochi has a lot of mosquitoes. I mean like we have mosquitoes in Mumbai also, but I guess not at this scale. I find it really annoying uh, to always put on like a cream or gel mosquito repellent on all your exposed part, your hands, legs, whatever. It's just irritating. So, I decided to try this one instead. and this one is really something different because it's like all natural essential oils and you don't have to put this on your body you just put a little bit of it on your clothes and it works really well like you need to put it towards the bottom of your clothes towards the top and it works amazingly well like i've seen around a swarm of like maybe 50 mosquitoes and they've just kept away from me they've been like right in front of me but they don't come to bite me because of this So I am in love with this like totally in love. It does have a strong smell which I think uh, some of you guys don't like that's what you told me but I actually don't mind it. I'm like whatever and I mentioned it to my mom she was like I like the smell. So it's sort of a very subjective thing but this is an essential for me and I will be using this and carrying it whenever I go to any tropical country because it's just handy uh, it's quick and it will guard you from mosquitoes. Not only are they annoying but you can actually get serious diseases so i think more people need to know about this what else is here oh i have scrunchies i keep on losing my hair ties all the time like now my hair is finally long enough to just bunch it into a pony if i want it away from my face so this is a brand new pack from forever 21 as you can see i literally even haven't opened it but the moment i open these and start using them you can bet that in a period of like 2 weeks I might have lost all but two of these. So, at least I can't complain because they were very cheap. What else is in here? Oh, I have the Nux Prodigious Oil. I think they say Wheel Prodigious. Really bad with my French pronunciations, but this is just uh, like a smaller size of the Cult Beauty product that you can use in multiple ways on your hair, face and body. I haven't been using it a lot. um even though it's winter but it's just one of these things that i keep in my bag just in case because it's like small size so security can't take it away from you at airports and who knows when you might need it right the next thing i have is another thing from my november favorites uh the bath and body works pocket bag in sparkling limoncello and this is just basically an antibacterial like hand sanitizer so you can keep your hands clean when you're out and about even if you don't have like a source of clean water or basin or something it's really nice to have and it smells amazing okay i have one more beauty product that i did not know was in here honestly it's the clinique chubby stick moisturizing lip balm which is also tinted i'm sure you must have heard of a chubby stick these are basically cult products right now 
and this is in the shade super strawberry it doesn't give a lot of color which i don't love because i prefer my lip products to have a little better pigmentation this is very light but it's hydrating so again like it's good for like airport travel and stuff when you want to slap something on your lip but you want it to be hydrating because traveling by flights all the time can be so so drying on every part of your body basically so the next thing i have is this card holder this is where i keep all my spare sd cards because i'm making videos a lot of videos i'm vlogging all the time i fill up sd cards like crazy so this is a nice little hard case that keeps everything secure and even like if it falls down your cards are going to be safe and it's even waterproof to a small extent i just keep my cards nicely organized in it and i really like it and that empties out the front pocket we are done so we can dive into the main pockets now this is where the good stuff is i don't know why i said that though every place has good stuff in my bag one thing that i like about this bag is it has a key hook not like a conventional key hook but it does have a key loop so basically you can put your keys onto this so i often keep my house keys here when i'm traveling right now i've just kept the like keys to the locks on my luggage on this because would you believe that all of my luggage has number locks like on the suitcase but i've forgotten all of the number lock combinations it's so embarrassing so i can't use it and now i have to use a separate lock and these are the keys so inside here there's a small like little pocket and then there's just basically one big pocket so let me dig into the tiny pocket first that's where i keep some beauty stuff the first is the smith's minted rose lip balm cannot have enough lip balm especially in this season i've actually put quite a dent in the product i love this stuff and it smells so nice the next thing is the crabtree and evelyn hand cream so this is from their lasso range i loved crabtree and evelyn hand cream so much sadly they left india a while ago and this is like one of the last mini hand creams that i have but innisfree and the face shop have very similar hand creams right now like similar size and similar cuteness but i will miss crab chain evelyn oh and that was pressed the last source range is supposed to be like their marine inspired range that's why it was my personal favorite even pomegranate was nice but i'm particularly partial to lassos because it smells a little bit like the sea and has a saltiness to it i think it's a love it or hate it type of fragrance but i obviously love it I have the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin powder. I've been using this as like my main base product after concealer for a while now. So basically like a powder foundation. This is not from Maybelline India. It's available online though and it's really really nice. The shade I have is coconut and I also have this brush to apply the powder with because I don't like using the little foam sponge i mean i will use the sponge if i have to but i do prefer to touch up with the brush now in the winter time my skin doesn't get so oily so i don't have to do as many touch ups but in case i'm taking a photo or something of my face i will maybe open it up and look at my face in the mirror and do a little touch up the next thing i have is another makeup product it's the lip thing that i'm wearing right now it's the nyx liquid suede lip color in the shade vintage and this is the mini size that i got in the vault a lot of few asked for a swatch video as well as a review of the liquid suede vault so that's coming your way soon i have a spare iphone cable in here this is not the one i'm currently using but lightning cables notoriously get spoiled so i always have a spare with me because you never know when yours will conk off but i'll show you the one i'm using right now because i really like it now we've gotten through the small pocket we're on to just the big dump <laughs> this is the purse that i'm carrying currently i would not like to show you guys a closer look at it because it's kind of grimy um it's a really nice purse but it it was cloth so it got all of the dirt and it looks gross but it's still functional so i use it it's a nautical themed one from accessorize and i still kind of like it despite it not being picture perfect right now it's really small 
It just has space for my cards and stuff and a small little zipper here. The next thing is my favorite power bank right now as well as my favorite iPhone cable right now. A lot of you guys ask me what power bank I use and what I recommend. I really like having power banks with me. I have bought from a lot of different brands. I have bought a lot of different capacities. So I believe I can properly talk on this subject. This is my current favorite power bank. It's from the brand Anchor, spelled A-N-K-E-R. And I'm going to put a link to it as well as all the Anchor products down below. It's not sponsored. I've bought all of my Anchor power banks with my own money. And they can be a little pricier than the other easily available brands like Sony or Asus or whatever. But they are 100% worth it. They are without a doubt the best power banks I've tried. This has a really good capacity. I think it's um, 10,400 mAh. So it can charge up my big phone multiple times. And this little indicator shows you how much of power is remaining in the bank. So there's just one light flashing, which means I don't have a lot. These are the best power banks I've used because they charge up your phone really fast. But at the same time, they actually have a lot of safety features. So your phone doesn't get like overheated or anything like that. The feature is called Power IQ. Basically, I'm not going to waste a lot of time going into it in this video, but I would thoroughly recommend if you're looking for a good power bank, get Anchor. I also have a really big capacity one by them that's like 25,000 mAh or something. It's really big capacity, but I've stopped traveling with that because when I went to Thailand, uh, they actually had a rule written there that it can't be above 20,000 mAh. I was very nervous that they would throw mine out they didn't throw it out. So thank you to the people at the Thai airport, but don't travel with really large power banks. And now there's a new rule at Indian airports that you can't put your power banks in your check-in baggage. You have to have it in your hand baggage, which is perfect because that's where I need to carry mine. The cable that I'm using, the lightning cable right now is from this brand called Boat and it's called an indestructible cable because basically um, it's got a metal coating throughout it. I can give this to my cats to chew and they still won't be able to damage it. These are the best cables that I've ever used and I'm talking about any brand. I'm talking about these are much better than even Apple's own cables. So if I buy this, even if I handle it roughly, I know that this is going to last me a good three, four months. So that's why I totally recommend these two things. Next, I have a comb in here. Pretty obvious why. I have a boarding pass in here. This is not even my boarding pass. This is my mom's boarding pass. And it was for our Bombay Kochi flight. So, that is junk. That needs to go in the bin. I have my second power bank in here. This one's by Asus. It's really nice. I don't have any complaints about it. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the Anchor one and they are very similar capacities so the anchor one's a little bulkier but it still feels better in my hand and the finish is nicer uh, the asus one is also pretty decent i'm primarily using this one but if i forget to charge it at night or something and it runs low like right now i like having a full backup power bank as well because i'm not just talking about charging my own phone i would even sometimes charge my mom's phone though it's rare and more importantly, even the camera that I'm currently using doesn't have the best battery, and but I can charge it with any power bank. So my power banks are working extra hard right now. What else is in here? This is uh, the Manfrotto mini tripod that I've been using a lot while vlogging. So I just fix my camera here and usually I just use it to hold like this, but I can also just set it down on a surface and talk or just show the scene, which I do use occasionally. I was wondering whether this would be useful at all, but I'm so glad I bought it because it has upped my vlogging game for sure. And what else do I have? Okay, the last two things in here are my two other camera lenses. And these three fall under photographic equipment. I am going to make a very detailed video on my current photography equipment really, really soon. So you guys can look forward to that where I'm going to be much more detailed, but I'll just quickly show you what these are. So I'm currently shooting on my 30 mm lens. So that's on the camera. These are the other two lenses that I have and I carry with me when I'm going out because I won't know what scene demands what lens. So I need to have 
my lenses with me. Actually, that one is more for sit down videos, the one which I'm filming on now. And these two are better for when I'm walking about and vlogging. This one is from Sigma and this is the 19mm 2.8 lens. This is the art lens. So it's really like fancy looking. And this is just a general slightly wide angle lens that I use when I'm like showing some scenes too. And also when I point it towards myself. So pretty versatile lens. And this one, this is the most newly purchased one. I just got this a couple of weeks ago. This is the Rokinon fisheye lens. And a fisheye just gives these really very wide, very round perspective. So it, it gives you a very distorted circular image. But I like fisheye lenses because they just show you like a lot of the surroundings, which I really enjoy vlogging with it because you can see a very like a wide look and I feel like maybe that makes you guys feel like you're there better like you can actually see what's happening so even if I point it to myself I really like using a fisheye lens to talk because it, it just captures everything basically though it distorts it and makes it look a bit wonky so I really like this lens this lens is a manual focus lens so basically it requires a little extra effort while focusing but I think it's totally worth it. I really like it. So that's everything that I've been carrying in my travel bag right now, just all out here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I'm carrying or not carrying or whatever, you can leave a comment down below or if you just want to chit chat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.